today it's reaction time. I will do a reaction video for a video that Xpeng published a couple of days ago. Uh, and you probably already saw that video. Um, they did a blind uh, Xpeng G7 and test a couple of uh, situation scenarios uh, to test the Turing chip and the reaction time with XNGP. So let's do it. Let's see the video together and see what this is all about. So here we are with the video. Let's start immediately. Well, that was pretty smart. So I was in doubt of doing or not this uh, reaction video because it was already published a couple of days ago, so probably you already saw it, but I decided to make it um, also just to check it and react to it together with you guys. So here we can see they are blind, uh, blinding the car. This is just for marketing purpose, of course, because the car has then the cameras to see everything. But of course, then the people inside the car, it's not, they are not looking at the street. So basically that is the idea. Let's do it. Yeah, look how thoroughly this is covered. Seriously, I can see nothing. Can I do less dangerous jobs? <laughs> Free lane. <laughs> so in front of us, we have traffic cones. <laughs> can we avoid that? So the driver told me it's gonna be. So basically, the car Don't will identify the cones and Shouts move two there. lanes to the side. So XNGP activated. I think I have trust issues. 60 kilometers more or less so it's slowing down and now changing lanes and go through so you saw in the cameras that he identified the cones <laughs> i don't know if tesla fsd can do it or not it's not the point here but okay another one so challenge to extremely small object avoidance so let's see so apparently the next obstacle is a little tiny bottle of coke which i can't see on this ipad there's nothing and we have okay. to avoid it and the car is going to avoid it i don't see anything on this ipad there's nothing okay so the car already so 40 kilometers per hour it already starts changing the lanes but we don't see anything in the oh, camera the what is it oh I, I i see something oh yeah, yeah i see that i see it okay okay i see that so the okay. car identifies it but it doesn't oh, even draw it uh in the screen it's so because cool. it's so small probably actually pretty good man this ngp system it's pretty smart because even such a small obstacle as a coke bottle it can detect it and avoid it on time that's pretty good if you ask me okay so challenge free moving object avoidance so, the next step is a so moving obstacle. it's like the simulating a child going through the uh, street let's see and we have to avoid it. I mean, the car. Let's go. Where is that? Okay. Is there is our running bear. Mr. Bear, run for your life. Oh, here. You can see here on the um, on the screen, it shows here something. So in this case, the car identifies the object, as you can see here. Don't stay there. Run. And ah! it changes lanes. So 35 kilometers per hour, so slow. It can avoid obstacles immediately. So in as I second. said, free turning mm. ships. It was fast. Okay, challenge four: debris avoidance. So okay, they are going to they are going to throw objects the from the car. Greater challenge to the chip and its computing power. Let's test it. Okay, here again, we don't see anything in the camera, but if you noticed, the assistant just says something. So I don't know if it is just saying that obstacle uh, identified or something like that. I don't understand Chinese. Sorry, guys. Um, but it does say something and then executes the maneuver. Nice. Wow, that's fast. This Turing chips IQ must be 180 or something. Man, man. Okay, so we survived, and I think we proved that Xiaopeng NGP system is actually very impressive and handles all of scenarios smoothly. What an experience. <laughs> so guys, this is it. This was the video that I wanted to do, a reaction video for these um, 
um, reaction time uh, of the XNGP, so these functionalities of the XNGP. Uh, I do believe that, for me at least, I, I do prefer to see XNGP acting in the city, in complex environments with bikes, people, um, uh, uh, motorcycles, other cars, um, uh, everything, crosswalks, um, intersections, all of those situations, so for instance, park A to park B, full self-drive, those are more impactful uh, to me than these um, scenarios here. Um, but I do understand that this video is meant to show reaction time. So it's, it's of course to show the capabilities of the processing power of the Turing chips to react very fast to situations that may occur uh, very quickly. And these are also important. So basically this is the objective of the video and it was uh, achieved, even though that I do believe that it was too much excitement and the way that the video was made, not really my type of uh, thing, but it is what it is. Um, so I do believe that these two uh, situations that we already saw from XNGP, from XPeng, um, uh, self-drive um, capabilities. So driving in the city in complex environments, taking decisions, driving slowly, but making the right choices to, to execute the maneuvers. And also this video with the reaction times uh, show that the Turing chips, uh, free in this case, can do uh, a lot for uh, drivers in the future. And I mean in the future because you know that in Europe we are not in this point. So um, before we start asking for XPeng to have these in our cars, we need to ask European legislators to address these topics, to open a little bit more uh, the legislation to allow this type of systems to support the drivers and even uh, self-drive or making decisions to save lives and save uh, property. Um, but uh, until then, um, the cars would not benefit from the, this processing power. That's why XPeng didn't um, put those Turing chips also in the cars. So first we need to wait for uh, to be allowed to do this in Europe and then we can expect and see what XPeng will do. If only the new owners, the new cars will come with this processing power or if it will have any initiative made by XPeng to uh, change the chips uh, that we currently have in our cars for the Turing chips. Again, we have NVIDIA 1, NVIDIA Orin X uh, chip and uh, on these examples uh, they are using free Turing chips. So the amount of and the difference of processing power is huge, 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 huge. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Um, if you did saw the video uh, before or not, if this was the first time that you saw this video, uh, the idea of reacting to the video was, of course, to show to people that are not following XPeng channel directly, but for some reason end up uh, looking at this video, they can see also the video from XPeng and see the capabilities of the NGP um, systems. So thank you very much again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.